Before we watch this video, Christian, we are not going to mention you. Well, we just basically mentioned you, but enjoy the video! Hello, and welcome to the story of Apollo. Once upon a time, on the island of Delos, a god was born from Zeus and Leto, named Apollo. I am a baby god, the wee brother of Artemis, and older brother of Hades. Phoebe. Apollo is the sun god. Oh no! There is no sun! It is so dark! What are we gonna do? I'll save you! Oh my! It's Apollo! Well, yes, I am here to bring all the light to your town because I am the sun god. The god of the bow and arrow. Yes, Rachel, how's your day? We're not showing that to innocent sixth graders. Just, just, this is going nice to see. And the god of healing. Go. Wait, ouch, that's it? You're, you're making me look bad, kid. Take two. Two. One. better. Now I'm going to heal him because I am the god of healing. That's better, Ben. But, but my arm. This is a class project, Ben. Don't, don't get your hopes up. Sorry about the poor flow. Apollo does not marry or have many children, though sometimes he falls in love. Hi, I'm Apollo and I love you. But I love you. I love you. Oh, uh, yeah, well, when Apollo came, first came to Delphi, there was a snake living there named Pytha. I will defeat you, Ariel, if it costs my life. But I am a god, though. But who cares? Let's just do this. I will, you will never defeat me. Oh no, I need a weapon. Oh, I need backup. Get fixed. <laughs> Apollo killed the dragon. That was how Delphi came, became his temple. This might mean that there was an earth goddess that people worshipped at Delphi before the Greeks came with their new god, Apollo. The moral of this story is to never let fear get in your way of doing something. You can accomplish anything, just like Apollo defeated the, the dragon, even though he is a god, but still immoral. Christian in the morning be like... <laughs> And Christian when he's sick. It's a cow safe. I'm just, no. oh. just when he thought it was safe. Just when he thought it was safe. <laughs> <laughs>